Today I'd like to show you the Weapon Animal Pro Rache or Rache Habs. And on this video, I'm going to try to show you the net weight and sizes of the bearings. Also, I'm going to check if a 10 speed 1142 cog like this from Cole will work or will it fit properly. I don't have 11 speed cogs and a 12 speed cassette, and I cannot check them out for you. First, let's check what we have on the label. Animal Hub Rache Black, 32 holes. It doesn't say anything about spec specs or technical info. Uh, super loud hub, that's all. Doesn't say whether this one is made in China or Taiwan. One year warranty. Sealed bearing, that's all. So let's see what's inside the box. Okay, first, let's go check out the rear hub. Looks like this. On the free up body, it doesn't say what speed. It only says ready for war weapon. Little bit of sound check. It's not really loud because I think there's a lot of grease inside the free hub let's check the front hub this one spins so smoothly and it doesn't make a sound try to listen silencio all right screwers most likely this is made from steel and springs they're also made from steel so definitely after a few months or maybe a year you're gonna start seeing rust on the uh, spring we also have some kits for ta or Traxel. this is for the rear 12 by 142 for the front You go over there boxy for the front we have 15 by 100 mm for the through axle next I'd like to show you if I can the exact weight of the hubs how can I put this up if you're planning to get a uh, titanium screw then much better because the stock screwers they weigh like 95 grams normally a titanium screw they weigh like 45 grams or 50 grams so let's put the hubs with the screwers and all in it is at 506 grams so quite impressive for this kind of entry-level Rache hubs 506 how about just the Set up hubs without the screwers. We're looking at 410 grams. Okay, spot on. Next thing I want to show you is the just give me a sec. Let's try and install a 10 speed 11 by 42. So, most likely 7 speed to I think. You can also install 11 speed on this one. I'm gonna show you the space allowance on the free up uh, later on. Oh yeah, that's my cat. Okay, one down. And next, I don't have 11 speed or 12 speed cassette cogs at the moment, so I cannot really check them out most likely 11 speed cogs will work on this so you still have some space or gap over on the free hub if we try and install the last piece the 11 tooth or 11 teeth it fits properly and if you're going to use 11 speed cogs i think it will work since 11 speed cogs they are much thinner than the 
10 speed cassette cogs. Oh, there you go. Sound check. Oh, it's kind of silent because it's brand new and there's a lot of factory grease inside the Freya body which I'm going to show you in a while. Let me just remove all the cogs. Set them aside over here and next thing that I want to show you is how to remove the end caps and can end caps. It doesn't have a provision for an Allen wrench key. It doesn't fit. I cannot remove this one by Allen. So all you need to do is pull this out by hand like so. There you go. It's just a slip on. And for you to remove the other side which is much harder. Oh no, it's much easier now. If you're having a hard time removing this, all you need to do is grab the largest allen key and then slide it in and then you just need to pop it out slowly bada boom and she's out okay uh huh let's check out the free up body so this is rache type here's the spring and i'm not sure if they're using helical gears not really sure what this gear is called but for a while I thought this one was made from aluminum it looks like aluminum but then again I was wrong let me get my magnet magnet works they are both made from ah, steel right and I think they are using lithium grease lithium white grease there's just a lot of grease over here. There's also uh, another set of spring inside. So I'm gonna put this back. So this is foolproof. You, you won't go wrong installing this one. It won't work if you installed it the wrong way. So gear to gear. Go and then just slide it in there. And yeah, push it back once again. But you need to make sure that it is aligned properly there you go and that's it quite easy to do maintenance on this kind of hubs next thing I want to show you is the size of the bearings on the free hub body a while ago I was having a hard time and I'm not sure if it's 28 or 26 for the outer but because I don't want to remove this uh, what you call this this rubber seal so I'm selling this hub online there's something written over here but my camera cannot really catch or focus what's written maybe it's 6902 let me go ahead and check out the ID so setting this to zero and giving us 14.9 or 15 millimeters that's for the inner diameter of the bearing for the outer you need most likely you need 28 if I'm wrong then it might be 26 millimeter so 15287 or 15267 for the free up body bearing. Now let's check out the let me just flip this over. Let's check out the size of the bearing on the axle. They are coming out. So if you want to go out, yeah, just stay out. Obviously, inner size or the ID is also 15. It's giving me 14.5. 9 close to 15 and my camera is having a hard time focusing there you go 15 millimeter for the outer size of the bearing you need it's really not clear over here it, uh, I am not sure if it's also 28 millimeter 
or maybe 26. Most likely it's the same, but I'm not I'm not really sure. So free up body it could be <clears throat> 15287 or 15267. The axle bearing it could be 15267 or 15287. On my cruiser, my old HA 40N something. The size of the bearing is different on the free up and also different on the axle rear and also different on the front hub the the sizes on this one are different so i think it's kind of the same with the weapon animal pro sizes are different on each hub so it's kind of pain in the a now i'm going to show you next thing i'm going to show you is the free hub or not free hub the size of the front bearing uh, front hub bearings I really love the sound but it's kind of silent at the moment since it is really brand new okay for the front hub again to remove the end caps the allen key wrench doesn't work so this is just a slip on most likely as you can see I already removed this one a while ago It's not reaching it. Anyway, I'm just gonna pop this out. This is just a slip on. It's not a thread type end caps. For the front, we need to measure this up once again and setting it to zero. For the bearing, let's check the ID and it's not focusing. So this one is something like 18 for the ID for front bearing. 17.9 or 18 millimeter is kind of close to 18. 18 millimeter for the ID. 17.8 or 17.9 close to 18 millimeter then the outer diameter for the front bearing most likely it should be 30 29.8 for the thickness we cannot remove the bearing since I'm selling this online so most likely the size for the front hub bearing, the one that you need is 18 by 30 by 7. I do have few stocks left for 18 by 30 by 7, so you don't need to worry. So for replacing the bearings on the Weapon Animal Pro Ratchet hubs, you may need to buy 15267 and 15287 for the rear hub and then 18 by 30 by 7 for the front hub. So it's a six piece or you need six pieces of seal bearings, four on the rear and then two on the front. What else? So I think that's just all I can really show you about the weapon Rache. For me, I'm not a fan of Rache hubs. I like to stick with cup and cones with Shimano or the six poles or four poles spring type the ones that Hope is using, Hope Evo Pro. Anyway, uh, that's all I can share to you about the Weapon Animal Ratchet right Pro. If you need this one, you can just click the link on the comment section and description box. Adios, see you next time guys.